All right, hello to everyone out there. Today I wanted to talk about stealing, but stealing like an artist. Stealing like an artist means taking something that you like, copying some aspects of it, rearranging it around, and having something new to present out of it. I don't mean, obviously, copying melodies, copy all the stuff is copyrighted anyway, so don't be, don't get yourself in trouble by copying a pure melody, you can't do that. But I'll show you what I do to kind of generate some ideas. This can really help you on a day where you're having trouble thinking of an original idea to get you started, and it can just be a tool for you to use to inspire yourself. The first thing that I do when I can't think of any other ideas is think about this. Find a song that you like, and not just a song that you like, but a song that you love the bounce of it. Sometimes there's a relationship between the kick and the snare and the groove that the song has, the, the bounce that the song has that you just want to sort of mimic or you want to make a song in that style. Sometimes I'll challenge myself to make a song in a style that I've never tried before just to simply grow as a producer and see what I can come up with. And this can be a great place to start if you've never worked in this genre or this style before. Just go ahead and copy a song over and take its elements out and then you'll get a feel for what that genre uses in order to produce that, that type of sound. Remember, all music is the same notes, same pitches, but all the different stuff are the space between the beats, the timbre of certain instruments, how they sound, all the weird little nitty gritty stuff that you get into as a producer are the real differences between music. Reggae and pop country and Christian music all use the same pitches, the same notes. All right, let's get started here. Firstly, I found this song by Craig Mack that I like the bounce to. I don't know how much of it I can play right now because of copyright, but let's, let's see. I just like the way that the kick and the snare work together. So I don't actually own this song, so what I'm going to do now is go into YouTube to MP3 and download it. So I got a new project up here, and I'm going to take my file, I'm going to drag it in the top. Usually in a, in a song, especially a hip-hop song, a lot of the beat, the isolated beat part, are going to be in the beginning of the song or the end of the song. And I heard on this particular one that it's going to be in the end. <laughs> We can see though where where the kicks and the snares happen as it hits, it gets louder. Now one thing I haven't mentioned just yet is finding the BPM of a song. I use tap tempo on my phone, but basically I play the song. Get 94. 94. Now I need to find the start of the beat. The actual one, two, three, four. There it is, okay. So we're going to cut it off, and it go right where the hit happens. I mean, we're talking right where it happens. Thinking right there is, is it. Ooh, hey, okay, we got a little too close. Uh, yeah, and we use Command T. Slice that baby. Sometimes it can be hard to get it to stay on the one. Maybe that's just my, my particular logic. There we go, place it on the one. Ha! probably don't need any more than that. So I've now isolated this sample, but I don't want to use the sample. I want to make my own sort of version of this. I'll change the tempo, I'll add a few more kicks and snares, or change their placement a bit to make it a bit different. That is stealing like an artist. Kick, so we know it was one at the beginning, right? There's one right there. It's going to be something like this. Yeah. All right. Next is the snare. So then hi-hat. Maybe at this point I'll change the sounds to something that I like better. Ooh.
Also, another thing I can do is just turn down the since they're all MIDI, they'll all move with the project. Okay, so we got the start of a song. Okay, so now we got a little bit of guitar on this. I gotta chop it up here real quick. I think this is a good one. I'm actually gonna add some kind of drone bass on this. So again, I got a part one and a part two for the bass. just dra drag in a sound effects or a hi-hat. See what we can find here real quick and So now as you can see the song sounds entirely different than the Craig Mack song that we started with. Just by slowing it down, adding some different instrumentation, I took his drum beat, but I made it an entirely new song. So this is what I mean by Steal Like an Artist. Now let's check out the final. <laughs> 